In my previous video, I was able to declutter, clean, and organize my refrigerator. In this video, I'll be tackling the bottom drawer freezer. So stay tuned and thank you so much for tuning in. Day two of trying to get my life together. Um, I wanna show you my freezer. Don't look at this pantry, okay? This is really bad. Um, but I wanted to show you the freezer, okay? So this is what we're working with. I wanted to show you <laughs> why my fridge just doesn't open, you know? And this is exactly the reason why I have to do something about it. Sorry about the background noise. That's my coffee growing. <laughs> I really need it um, after dealing with this. I should have probably recorded this after my coffee was done. Okay, now that I drank my coffee and I'm caffeinated, ready to go, the first step is to obviously empty your freezer completely. I empty my freezer and I realize exactly why I couldn't open it. I believe we have so many things in here. That's why it's so important to clean and declutter so that way you know what you have in the freezer. Ew. It's disgusting. Okay. Now that the freezer is nice and clean, I'm able to put everything back in. If you watch my other video, I mentioned how I pre-season my meats. And basically here, I'm gonna place all of the pre-season meats in the, to the right and then um, everything else to the left. Okay, we certainly don't need to buy ground turkey anytime soon. <laughs> A lot of ground turkey. so much better wow i'm impressed i impressed myself so now we have a ton of frozen veggies this ice cream has been there for like ever that's gone um i actually really love frozen mangoes like these but i think this one is already like over frosted <laughs> so i i'll defrost it and see how how it tastes so initially, I thought, let me organize these veggies as best as I can in this compartment. And then I thought about these storage containers that I had. I was previously using them in the refrigerator until I figured that I do not have any needs for them. And it just so happened that they fit the space perfectly. And just remember, when buying storage containers, buy them so they can fit your space instead of buying them to fit and a specific item. That way you can maximize the space and store the items more effectively. In this case, it fits the space perfectly, but also the items that I'm storing here, which are these bags of frozen veggies that tend to get lost in the back of the freezer. And after about 30 minutes, now I have a clutter-free, clean and organized freezer. Let me know what you think in the comments and share with me if this video motivated you to finally clean your freezer. I hope this video motivates you to do the same. Uh, and remember, don't get overwhelmed. Just tackle it little by little and you'll see progress one day at a time. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe i'm gonna put the link right here so you can subscribe hit the notification bell so you know the next time i post and i hope to see you next time in my kitchen as we tackle this together you and i thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time